Hello guys, I am Rajat Batra. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we do have Mr. Sahil Gupta with us, who is a software developer intern at Farmeasy. So today we will learn from his interview experience. We will deep dive into his interview experience. Experience starting from number of rounds to number of questions, difficulty level of each question, and much more. Towards the end of the video, he will also be giving us some tips how to crack good placements in big MNC. So, last time, बने रहें और channel को subscribe नहीं करा अभी तक तो जरूर करें. So, first of all, thanks Sahil for accepting our invitation. Can we start with with your brief introduction, please? Uh, thank you, Rajesh, for having me. So, I am Sahil, or uh, I have done my B.Tech from Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology and in Computer Science and Business Systems. So I'll just brief about what happened. Uh, actually, uh, so the fourth year is going on, or your college me companies are starting to start. So Farmiz, I guess, was one of the very last companies that visited on campus. So I applied for the same, and they had two roles. First one is the software engineering role, and the other one is the test engineer role, right? So I applied for the same and based upon the CGP or resume, उन्होंने बच्चे shortlist किए. Now based upon that we had a screening round on Hackerang, and उस Hackerang round में we got seven questions. Out of the seven questions, we had three questions for the DSA and four questions for the MCQs. Now uh, I would say those four questions were relatively simple, and you can just simply study for like we and crack those questions. Coming on to the DSA part, DSA was based upon two topics mainly. One is recursion, and the other one was DP. Now, DP questions were from medium to high level on lead code, and the recursion question was simple. It's like an easy question on lead code. That was an average. Okay. So after that, we had two more rounds. The first one was technical, and the sec second one was with the team lead. So after the first round of the screening round, around twenty students or twenty five students were shortlisted. Now. Coming to the first round, I had this with two people, and it was for around forty minutes. For that forty minutes round, uh, first twenty minutes it was more about the resumes, the projects, the future scope, and all those things, right? And in the last twenty minutes, we all know we have a small DSA question on board pad, right? Now it was more of a back back end question, and uh, the interview asked me. to basically tell the approach i do it he was not expecting me to code this but he was expecting me to uh, analyze all the critical angles of the question now that is important the critical angles the test cases the time complexity space complexity and all those things right so after that uh, i got a message around a week that i have been shortlisted so around 10 people were shortlisted so after that we had a interview with the tech lead now this round was difficult this round was somewhere around 50 minutes 40 or 50 minutes for the first 20 minutes it was again about projects resumes now there was this one thing uh, surprisingly uh, i work in back end and the tech lead was also working in the back end now that is what you do not want to happen because now he will ask you the questions you never expect so he asked me questions about github uh, ci cd and all those things so initially my questions nahi aate the to maine statement bol de ki sir i don't know the questions but uh, i will give it a get head score to kehta okay but uh, after that uh, like for 20 30 minutes we just uh, jiggled here and there aur humne try kare kuch na kuch answers aur humne accept kar liya right after that for the next 10 minutes i remember unhone mujhe pucha आपकी फेवरेट लैंग्वेज कौन सी है और उस फेवरेट लैंग्वेज में मैंने बोला सी प्लस प्लस और फिर वो टेन मिनट्स माई लाइब्रेरी डिस्कस हुई कि सी प्लस प्लस में वेक्टर्स होते हैं एस होता है वो डिस्कस दैट उसके बाद उन्होंने पूछा कि अगेन सेम थिंग कि अब हम सॉल्व करेंगे वर्ड पैट पे एक क्वेश्चन तो क्वेश्चन उन्होंने कैसे बोला मेरे को कि आप लीड कोड ओपन करो और लीड कोड के अंदर कोई भी एक हार्ड प्रॉब्लम पिक करो फॉर द ड्यूटी तो उन्होंने प्रॉब्लम पिक करी और वो फिर पूरी सॉल्व कर ली थी स्टार्ट ऑफ दिकॉजन uh take a step further optimize the time complexity optimize it further and then optimize the space complexity so like a four step approach to wo ek cheez tha so this round was difficult ameko laga nahi tha ki ye round clear hoga but uh, surprisingly ye clear ho gaya and one tip in this round jo interviews ne question puche tha na us questions ke andar it's very important to 
answer a solution but it's also important to convey the solution so ek wo cheez thi ki hame question aata hai aur hum usko samjha pate hain there are two entirely different aspects yes so that is what i uh, tell a lot of people you are knowing the answer does not mean that you are able to convey that answer conveying is more important than knowing the answer so it is also that that we must explain the questions to us also while practicing dsa problem so that we can uh, explain them to the interviewers interviews as well yeah and one more approach you can take is you can have a lot of mock interviews with your peers as well yeah so Got that it. will help you a lot rightly said so uh, was it the last round third one or so this was the last, yeah no no so this was the last round with the declin after that we just had a, like a weeks time and i got my file later oh congratulations so so do you remember any dsa question that was asked to you in hacker rank or in the first round of interview to remember okay. the topics of the question yeah so as i said it's basically uh, for all the rounds it was entirely based upon dt your recursion and your rs okay. so the first uh, questions in the screen round were coin change if i remember coin change uh, then we have house of a problem yeah. if you have heard of it yeah. and then we had a simple problem on rs and recursion that's so it means the, I mean, and the standard questions on arrays dp and lead code yeah, is it very standard it? questions yeah no medium to hard actually okay medium to right. hard and the mcqs were from uh, computer fundamentals uh, dbms er models uh, operation uh, os processes and computer networks so thanks for explaining your interview experience so deep uh, including questions difficulty level and uh, much more so do you have some tips for our juniors who are currently preparing for interviews or placements that what should be an ideal way of practicing dsa or cs fundamentals on any other thing see uh, okay so i have with three tips the first one is while you're practicing dsa don't just focus on solving a lot of problems focus on solving each problem with a lot of methods so that way you will open up to applying different approaches to a single problem right so if you have a problem on let's say simple recursion problem now you have different approaches you can apply simple recursion dynamic programming backtracking or simple for loops so you have multiple ways applying those approaches on a single problem is much more efficient than solving a lot of problems with just one approach right so that is one thing the other thing is have a lot of mock interviews now if like a lot of people nowadays do teaching right so either you can go for teaching like or uh, try to solve our doubts for the other people your friends like have a lot of interviews so that will help you to convey your solution right that is very important in the interviews the third one is speak up a lot of times in the interviews it is very important to speak confidently and speak efficiently rather than knowing the technical stuff right yeah. because technical stuff so you are in the fourth year you have done, like done three years of college you know a lot of things so they pe- those people expect you that you will be able to learn those things but speaking up that does not come automatically it has to be practiced right so that is one important thing so practice a lot of mock interviews practice hr questions practice uh, situational questions practice uh, technical questions but in a certain way rightly said communication is the key i guess communication is the key communicating solution communicating thoughts yeah rightly said so thanks for these wonderful tips sahil so if you still have any doubt regarding interview experience or want to learn from him i will put the link of his linkedin profile in the description below you can ping him he will surely help so agar ye video aapko acha laga ho to please do subscribe this channel we will be there uh, for you with the next interviews very soon so thank you so much thanks sail for joining us thank you